This edition of BBTV is sponsored by when Miley Cyrus used to be a family figure that everyone could enjoy. Now we have this. Thanks a lot, America. Right Beat Radio. What's up, everybody? Welcome to this Friday's video, and it's something special. We're finally closing out Music Month here on BBTV. It's already April. I can't believe it. So this will be my last music video or music-related review. Maybe I'll do one more. Maybe not. To close it out and continue on with my other reviews that I have. <clears throat> but what not a great video to close out the BBTV Music Review Mania, whatever you want to call it, with this tape, Billy Ray Cyrus, live on tour. Now, if you saw my joke at the beginning, you obviously knew where this was going, but it obviously doesn't have anything to do with Miley Cyrus. It has something to do with her dad. And basically, if you're wondering where Miley Cyrus gets all of her energy from, I mean, he's the obvious choice, right? So, if you don't know who Billy Ray Cyrus is, I mean, we all know about his daughter, but I'm not going to mention his daughter in this review anymore. This is the last time. Billy was better than that. Anyway, if you don't know who he is, he basically exploded onto the country scene in 1992, which, by the way, when this video came out in 1992, with his worldwide sensation, Aki breaky heart if you haven't heard achy breaky heart you might want to stop this video and go listen to it right now and then come back so you basically know what america has been singing that whole year because it was everywhere and you couldn't get away from it don't you do my heart, my achy breaky heart and man, 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 bang your head against the wall but anyway, back to the video. Um, this is Billy Ray Cyrus live on tour, but the thing is, um, this concert was generally recorded at the Ritz Theater in New York, New York City. Now, it does have some scenes with Billy on tour somewhere else, but basically, this whole concert takes place at the Ritz in New York. This... In que this uh, video in question was actually a television special. It was actually a television special in 1992. I don't know what channel it came from, but I did search this up on the International Movie Database, and it was a TV special. And it was produced by Propaganda Entertainment, who, once again, made the TV special. So this is the 1992 Billy Ray Cyrus TV special. I don't know what network it came on, but if I had to choose, I would say either CMT, ABC, or NBC. But if I'm wrong, oh well. I mean, I think the only people that would actually show this whole thing is CMT, but I may be wrong. I don't know. Anyway, let's look at the tr tra track list. There are 14 tracks. Well, no, actually 13, because 14 appears in the credits, and that that's not really live. That doesn't count. But the the concert itself consists of... Should I stay or should I go? These boots are meant for walking. No offense, but I kind of like the Miranda Lambert version of that song better. These be boots are meant for walking. And give that a listen to, too. Listen to the, them both side by side when you get done watching this review. So, uh, yeah, listen to the Billy Ray Cyrus version of 
These Boots Are Meant for Walking, and then listen to the Miranda Lambert version of These Boots Are Meant for Walking. You make the judge. I personally like the Miranda Lambert version, but that's just me. The next track is She's Not Crying Anymore. Eh, well, you don't think she would be. Now she would. <laughs> Where am I gonna live? Okay, so, obviously, half of these songs were written when Billy Ray Cyrus was single. Everybody knows about that crisis with him not having a wife. He's probably a millionaire now, a little lucky butt. But, back in the day, he was just making music, making songs, for the fun of it. And, uh, well, obviously, 1992 was his big year to explode onto the scene, so he wasn't lonely for that long. I know that's, I know that's the truth. Track 5 is Someday, Somewhere, Somehow. When is Miley Cyrus going to be- get better? Someday, Somewhere, Somehow, but we don't know when. Um, track 6 is Could Have Been Me. Yes, it could have. 7 is I'm So Miserable. You sure are, Billy. 8 is Never Thought I'd Fall In Love With You. Yeah, his daughter. <laughs> 9 Ain't no good goodbye. No, there's really not, is there? Because this this DVD has about four more tracks left. Oops, did I say DVD? I meant VHS. Ten. Some gave all. Now, this is actually a serious track about uh, the veterans and how they gave their lives for you and me to live. And the only song in this whole video where Billy Ray Cyrus is not flaunting his muscles or trying to get the attention of the ladies. Track 11 is Only Time Will Tell When This Video Would Go Off the Market. Track 12 is It Won't Be the Last. No, it wouldn't because we would be hearing Achy Breaky Heart 20 years later after it was written. 13 is Achy Breaky Heart. And 14 is The Star Spangled Banner, which once again appears only in the credits. With a very awesome fireworks show, too. So, that's it. That is it. Billy's Ray, Billy Ray, uh, Ray Cyrus's band is Sly Dog. And that's Terry Shelton, Barton, eh, Greg. Listen, I can't see the names, but... He says them all in the in the video towards the end of the video, but I'll let you take a look. So you can pause that right there if you want to take a look at the names. Okay, now that you got that out of the way, if you really cared, now the actual review of the video. Um, once again. This was a TV special, and in many ways, you can tell it was a TV special. The multiple camera angles, the special camera angles, the multiple montages of Billy Ray Cyrus flashing his muscles, flaring his muscles, the multiple uh, scenes of Billy Ray Cyrus on different parts of the tour. You can tell this was a TV special. Uh, <clears throat> it was basically meant for girls, in a sense that Billy Ray Cyrus is everywhere, Flashing, flaring his muscles. Um, but as far as a serious live performance, I wouldn't really recommend this video. For those of you who like those serious live performances, like, it's just one location. It's just a couple of cameras getting, you know, multiple shots of the performer. And it's like the whole thing. This video is an hour, but I mean, if he was really on tour, wouldn't this show be about two hours? I mean... I mean, come on. Or he didn't have enough songs to fill that uh, another hour gap. But I mean, just just come on, guys. Wouldn't this be? Wouldn't this video be two hours if it was on tour? I don't know why they would say on tour when it's only filmed at one location the entire time, <laughs> basically. But <clears throat> it's a decent video for collectors like me. I I could have had better, but. Once again, this being a TV special, you're not going to get uh, absolutely superior uh, Billy Ray Cyrus quality. Absolutely not. It's like it was a TV special, so you would kind of expect less of that. <laughs> uh, 
there are no interviews. Absolutely none. Not one. It's just the whole entire show. That's it. No interviews. It would have been actually nice, actually, to have some interviews, at least between some of these songs. I mean, it was like they did no commercial break during this. Or maybe they did. Maybe they just edited it out. But, I mean, it's all 13 tracks, and that's it. Some tracks are shorter than others. And, I mean, they could have threw in an interview, and at least at the end, like, you know... You know, they could have threw a little something at the end, but no, it's basically the whole show. Because ladies at the time weren't interested in seeing an interview. They were just seeing, they just loved seeing this all throughout the stage. So, uh, props to Propaganda for supporting the, the needs of the ladies. But for us collectors, we there is no interview on here. And I thought there was going to be. Sadly, there is not. But then again, I'm not surprised. Because... This was obviously aired on TV, and, you know, television, when you're doing this stuff on television, people can't watch that long. Um, anyway, it's a decent video. It's, you know, it could have been better. I, I've seen better, for example, my Boys to Men, Then to Now VHS, and, I mean, they, along with the music videos of that, they had interviews Things like that, talking about the songs. This has basically none of that. It just basically has all of his performances. And uh, Billy Ray Cyrus is very energetic on stage. And that's one of the positives to watching this. He loves interacting with his audience. And I'm guessing some of those traits was passed down to you-know-who. And I'm not saying her name again, but those traits were passed down. Definitely. This guy can move around the stage and not even get tired. And, uh, wow. So, it's great. If you can find a copy of this on eBay, it's, sadly, this video is not on YouTube. I have not seen it on YouTube. But probably when somebody watches this review, it'll probably be on YouTube already. Because, once again, it was just a television special. So, it'll probably be on YouTube later. But it is not as of April 3rd. 2015, it's not on here, but who knows, it may be. So, this is Billy Ray Cyrus live at one location, not on tour, but it says live on tour. If you can find this on eBay, if you love Billy Ray Cyrus, you might want to pick this up if you don't have it in your collection already. If you're a collector who likes country music and you're looking for collectibles from the 90s, uh, you may or may not be happy with this. It's okay. It's basically the live show without any interruption. So, <clears throat> give it a check out. Billy Ray Cyrus live on tour from Polygon Home Video and Mercury Records. Thanks for watching. Man, King of the Hill is better than that guy. Uh, no offense, but...